my, my, here come the fuss. Fight scene, the visceral, blood pumping, thrilling bare knuckle clash. There's something uniquely cinematic in a showdown between two opposing forces. But what exactly makes these scenes so exciting? Hi guys, my name's Nick, and today I want to talk about what the great fight scenes do. There are, of course, a multitude of aspects to a fight scene. But for me, there are often some techniques that always go overlooked. And one of the biggest ones is... Scenes rely on beats and moments to create dramatic flow. The fight scene is no exception, and leans even heavier on these beats due to their physical nature. Hans Zimmer has said that whilst he was working on the gladiator action scenes, he specifically wrote the music in the timing of a waltz. So, so I had this idea that all the action sequences should be waltzes. You know, like a Viennese waltz, you can't think of anything more fluffy and civilized and such a beautiful form, everything is just so and perfect. And I thought, what if I take the shape, the form of a waltz and just make them bloody savage and brutal? In doing so, he was able to convey the ruthless, rigid nature of the Roman army and the savagery of the battle. Because of this mentality, the action scenes become wonderfully chaotic as a result. Zimmer seemed to carry a very similar philosophy into making the first Pirates of the Caribbean. The first confrontation between Will and Jack crackles with energy, and much of that is to do with the scene's impeccable rhythm. Think this wise boy. The scene begins with the two talking, setting the stage for the action. You threaten Miss Swan. Then as Jack brings his sword along Wills, the beat is hit. Only a little. And as the swords clash, they follow the percussion of the music. You know what you're doing, I'll give you that. This whole fight is so exciting as the tension and the rhythm is constantly, perfectly in sync. The music of Pirates of the Caribbean is legendary at this point. Not only is it extremely exciting by itself, but I feel the way it was used in these movies has something to do with it as well. That's why I think the latter installments, among other reasons, don't quite live up to the originals, because they fail to hit a lot of these essential beats. But it's not just music that creates an incredible sense of rhythm. Want to do something useful? In the build up to the bombastic shootout of Hot Fuzz, the sound of the town create the dramatic backdrop to the music. Be it a sign being placed, or a boot being slammed down, or the sounds of the hooves clopping alongside the tempo. Morning. What's interesting is when Hot Fuzz ramps up to its action set piece, you are bombarded with cuts, more so than maybe even Taken 2. But Hot Fuzz remains comprehensible due to its wonderful rhythm. Almost every single gunshot and footstep has been controlled and synced to the cutting of the scene. In fact, sometimes he'll include double motion, just so the sound effect can carry alongside that action. It's this rhythm and understanding of beats that allow these action scenes to be so visceral, carry a sense of momentum, and overall remain so damn fun. And with a great rhythm, there often follows a dance. But where a dancer or an actor may move, 
I think it's the camera that really makes the difference. In a fight scene, tension is essential. For that reason, many action scenes have their cameras move throughout the scene in time with the action inside it to create this sense of endless and visceral momentum. When Kylo Ren throws the Praetorian Guard away, we track that action and then reveal Rey as she swings the saber, perfectly bringing us in to her moment. As she is pulled forward, so are we, slowly until once the beat is hit. The guard falls and we're thrown over to another. This is really effective because what is happening is that we are being pulled along for the ride. But ignoring the motion inside the frame would be incredibly stupid. When Rey strikes down, her motion and impact is carried into the next shot. This type of editing is not only exciting as it mirrors the two narratively, but it also allows that relentless motion to continue across time and space, and additionally allows that action to move smoothly as the audience doesn't have to readjust their eyes across these cuts. Actually, this entire sequence keeps the action centered so that the camera moves and maintains that motion without your eyes needing to. However, in my opinion, there's a reason that all the fight scenes I've mentioned are so successful. Because when it comes down to it, you can have the most technically flawless fight scene. But if you don't care about the people, or if you don't understand why they're fighting, it won't matter at all. The train scene from Spider-Man 2 works so well in my opinion because it's very clear in what the motivations are. It's a pivotal scene and it's exciting for that reason. And that's my major point. The best fight scenes are just that. They are character moments. Moments of struggle or triumph. The Pirates of the Caribbean scene is really a sort of conversation elevated. An action scene that tells us something is always more memorable. That's what I'm talking about. In short, fight scenes are awesome. There's nothing quite like the thrill of watching a well-crafted one. But when the rhythm, the movement and the motive all come together, it takes on a life of its own. As the movie transports us right into the action, alongside the characters for a wild ride.